If I had only seen the clip that you saw, I'd be extremely angry with me too. I am mortified, I'm embarrassed, and I am very angry. That's Gail King responding to backlash over her interview with Lisa Leslie about Kobe Bryant. The CBS This Morning co-host took to Instagram early Thursday morning with her side of the story. Uh, unbeknownst to me, my network put up a clip from a very wide-ranging interview, um, totally taken out of context, and when you see it that way, it's very jarring. It's jarring to me. Here's the backstory. On Tuesday, Gail's wide-ranging interview with the former WNBA star and Kobe's longtime friend aired. It's been said that his legacy is complicated because of a sexual assault charge, which was dismissed in 2003, 2004. Is it complicated for you as a woman, as a WNBA player? Mm -hmm. Kobe's, he, he was never like that. I just never see, have ever seen him being the kind of person that would be, do something to violate a woman or be aggressive in that way. I, that's just not the person that I know. The network later posted a clip featuring Gail asking Lisa about Kobe's 2003 rape charge and subsequent criminal case. And people got mad. Even Snoop Dogg took to social media with this message for Gail. We expect more from you, Gail. Don't you hang out with Oprah? Why y'all attacking us? We your people. But here's what Gail wants everyone to know. So I've been told, or I've been advised, to say nothing. But that's not good enough for me. I reached out to Lisa because I know that she's a longtime friend of Kobe's to talk about his legacy and their friendship. We had a really wide-ranging interview, talked about many things. And yes, we talked about that court case because that court case has also come up. And I wanted to get Lisa's take on it as a friend who knew him well, what she thought, where that should stand. Is it even a fair question to talk about it considering he's no longer with us and that it was resolved? Or is it really part of his history? I think that the media should be more respectful um, at this time, it, it's like if you had questions about it, you've had many years to ask him that. It was very powerful when she looked me in the eye as a member of the media to say it's time for the media to leave it alone and to back off. And I insisted, I insisted that that part be in the interview because I thought that it put a nice button on that part of the conversation. The 61-year-old journalist goes on to explain that the initial feedback about her interview with Lisa was all positive. But she's not okay with the network posting the clip about Kobe's legal battle. For the network to take the most uh, salacious part when taken out of context and put it up online for people who didn't see the whole interview is very upsetting to me. And there will be a very... Uh, intense discussion about that. In a statement to ET, a spokesperson for CBS News explains, quote, Gail conducted a thoughtful, wide-ranging interview with Lisa Leslie about the legacy of Kobe Bryant. An excerpt was posted that did not reflect the nature and tone of the full interview. We are addressing the internal process that led to this, and changes have already been made. When Kobe was 24, he was charged with one count of felony assault after a then 19-year-old woman went to the police claiming he'd sexually assaulted her in his Colorado hotel room back in 2003. The case was dropped in 2004 after the accuser declined to testify. The same woman also filed a civil suit, which was settled out of court in 2005. I've never done one of these before. I didn't even... I, I've never done one of these before, but this was so important to me that I felt I had to say something. I don't want to sit up on a set and read a prepared remark. Uh, I wanted you to hear exactly where I'm coming from and how I'm feeling. And to let everybody know that no disrespect intended. And now I've got to go to work. Uh, I thank you for listening. Bryant, along with his 13-year-old daughter, Gianna, and seven others, died in a helicopter crash on January 26th. He will be missed, but he will not be forgotten, that's for sure.